In this video, we are going to answer the question, what value of x would make these triangles similar by side, side, side similarity? Um, we need to decide what sides are corresponding sides so we can make ratios that would be equal. And uh, we are aided by the fact that um, this is an isosceles triangle, 15 and 15. So let's see, let's go ahead and make this blue. And might as well make this blue also because it's the exact same length. So these two sides must be corresponding with these two sides because um, these are the ones that are equal in this triangle. So I'm gonna color them blue to show that they are corresponding to these two sides. And then I'll color the other side pink all right, this is like the base of the isosceles triangle, and this is the base of the isosceles triangle. So these sides must be corresponding. So if I make a fraction of corresponding sides, and it doesn't matter if I go small over big or big over small, I'm gonna go big over small. So if I make one fraction, like x over 21, using my corresponding sides, that should be equivalent to another fraction made of corresponding sides. So, uh, for example, 20 over 15. Again, big over small. 20 over 15. So this should be a valid equation if the triangles are indeed similar. So it's just a matter of solving this equation. Now, I like to uh, reduce fractions whenever I can. So I see this 20 over 15, these are both uh, divisible by five. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So now I've got x over 21 is equal to four over three. So to get this x by itself, the easiest thing to do is to multiply both sides by 21. Okay, so that's gonna give me x equals. Now what I like to do, um, instead of multiplying the four times 21 right now, I would rather divide. Three goes into 21 seven times. So four times seven is 28. So I know the answer is gonna be 28. Um, now a lot of kids, just for some reason, that just blows their little minds. Um, and they always say, Mr. Burton, is, is it okay if, can I just multiply and divide because I don't know what you're doing with the 3 and the 21. And I don't want to hurt their little feelings, so I tell them to go ahead. Um, if we multiply 4 times 21, that, that'll be 84. So that would give us x equals 84 over 3. And uh, then it's just a matter of what's 84 divided by 3. 84 divided by 3. Oh look, 28, like I said. Um, so that is how you find the value of x that would make triangles similar by side, side, side similarity. 